anything you need for Halloween, this is Haunted Skull. And in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing the Rangers Halloween 2024 Standing Reaper. So, so this is another one of them life sizes that caught my eye this year. I never usually pick up this many life sizes from the range this year, so definitely thanks to them for being so good. And I've got to say, the box design is really cool. Um, I'm really loving it this year. Um, it does say Haunted Hollows at the top, says Animated Standing Reaper, and the dimensions below it. And on this side, you've got a close-up picture of the Reaper, and uh, of course, one showing not what it does. It says light up chest. It says a frightening Halloween prop for your party. Uh, this animated standing reaper will terrify your guests. Complete with a spooky sound and a light up chest. This character will menace and surprise passers by. Very similar to the haunted ladies read up on the side, I must say. And on the back, you do have the diagram saying what it does. It says light up eyes, spooky sound, and light up chest and there are all the warnings and uh, other bits of information down there. On the other side is exactly the same as that other side that we just shown you right there. And going on to the top then, it um, basically shows this really nice gothic theme in as you can see. So let's get this guy open and, uh, sh and show you what's inside. So getting our standing reaper out of the box, you can see all the pieces. It's pretty much a basic setup as far as a Sunstar prop goes. As you can see right there, you do have the body of the reaper himself, all wrapped up like that. And you've got four legs for the Christmas tree style base. You get three poles, the base connector, and two, po two pole connectors. And there you go, so that is all the parts for the Standing Reaper. So I'm going to get this guy all set up and then we'll get proceed on with a review. So here is the Rangers 2024 Standing Reaper all fully set up. And I've got to say, I am very impressed as a first impression. When I first seen this guy online, I wasn't really too keen on uh, how thin he looked. But having seen him in person, he definitely does look a lot better. And for $39.99, I think you're definitely getting your money's worth with the amount of features this guy has. So starting off with the head then, as all reviews go, you can see the face. It kind of has like a shredded skull look. Um, it definitely is a new skull to uh, as I know from a Sunstar prop. It's actually quite nice quality. It's, um, I know it's hollow inside, but the paint job's quite nice on the face. And he does have two green light-up eyes and no sockets right there. His jaw actually can be moved, but on mine it stays shut um, for whatever reason. Um, the one in my store, actually, the mouth hung open a bit, so it moved when his head moves. And that was quite cool. And here is his rib cage. It is actually kind of like blow molded. It does feel quite nice, like a good quality. Um, but the only downside is that it's really hung around his neck, so it's quite prohibits the movement of the head a little bit. And uh, of course, it it really could have been done better. And moving on to the hot arms, you can see he's got pose and stay arms right there, and the regular Sunstar sculpted hands for his skeleton. And he's got some really nice drapes with different colour material hanging off his arms. And um, you can see through him quite a bit if you get some light on him, but it, it's okay. Uh, I, do, I do like that the hands have been painted though, around the joints of the fingers. And as you can see right here, you've got the returns policy tag. Of course, um, that does need taking off once you have this guy. As we go down, he does have this little rope around his waist, just as all reapers should have. And as we go further down, he really does have this nylon um, sort of material robe. And the only downside, one of the other downsides to him is that you can see the Christmas tree base. This robe does not cover that, which is a real downside, I think. So getting on to some side views, as you can see here, he yeah, is definitely quite a thin prop as, as it goes, really. And uh, as you can see, he does have a button that comes out the back. Regular Sunstar button, nothing different there. And he does have his switch where you can switch him from sensor to button. And he, uh, and he takes three AA batteries. So the other side of a Rangers Reaper right here. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this uh, review so far. So without any further ado, let me show you this guy in action.
So there you have it, that is the Ranger's Stunning Reaper in action. And I've got to say, he does have a regular head and arm movement for a Sunstorm motion at prop. Um, nothing different there. But the main features about this guy, what makes him stand out, is his lights. I really do like the green light up eyes. You definitely don't see them on um, animatronics very uh, often. And he also does, does have his red light up chest, which looks amazing in the dark. I really do love that feature. Um, I think it is one of the key standout parts of this prop, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm very happy with this uh, Standing Reaper right here. And um, what can I say, for £40, it is a good life size. It's not too, it's not professional quality or anything, or SVI quality, but it's definitely good for if you're wanting to do a haunt on a budget. So getting on some size comparisons then, I'll do one with Standing Lady, as you can see. He is quite tall, Havana. I would say he is about nearly five and a half between that and six foot as you can see down below him we do have a three foot doll from asda which he is quite a bit taller than um so he is quite a, he is quite a good size for a, a life-size prop i'd say and last but not least i'll compare him to the clown with groundbreaker from a range as you can see he is quite a lot bigger than the clown if i'm honest because he has a groundbreaker yeah that is about it for my review of the ranger's 2024 standing reaper i hope you guys found this review helpful if you have any questions about him please leave them in the comments below and please give give me a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helped me out a lot and until the next video anything you need for halloween this is haunted school